Howdy folks, uh, Mr. Teslonian back here, and I wanted to show you the Goldemian sluice box in action. Uh, here we go, we're going to put some material in it and watch it work. And if you notice, you can put that material through this top Goldemian pretty quickly here. This is highly rich concentrates that we've screened down to a fine screening uh, out of a good gold hole here in Arizona. So you'll watch these riffles appear of black sand as the material goes through the system. What we will typically do, let me get a little closer here so you can see what's going on, is we run about one bucket's worth of material through the goldemian before we change it. And that means that we just undo the lower lock magnet and put that directly over a bucket and turn the pump on and all the black sands immediately come right out. So you'll notice here how that's removing a lot of that black sand and there's a pre-classification system here. And it also creates really good gold trap riffles. These little spikes created by the magnetic particles of black sand magnetite. So here you go, you can see the, the lower littler magnets are slowly starting to build up and that's a good indicator that we're getting more and more black sand. It may look like that there's a lot of black sand already building up in there, but they'll get much higher than that. It, it's grabbing most of it through the system as it's happening. So here we go here. We're going to do a quick run. I almost tripped. Uh, do a quick run here and just show you what it does, how much it's working through. Give a quick hand here on some of the clay. Now I'm going to go down to the lower box here, and you can see the material coming through. I don't know how good without the, the shadow affecting it, that you can be able to see all this. But there's the material flowing down. Here's your magnets up underneath the, the Goldemian prototype here, creating those riffles. I actually shouldn't bring the phone too close to those, since they'll probably mess up the computer and the phone. So here we go. We've, we've put in through quite a bit of material here. You can see these riffles are definitely getting bigger and bigger. The best indicator of getting close to full on black sands is this lower line you see, the thin one. This will build up pretty big. Right now, that's all that's getting trapped by it. All right, well, I'll turn the... All right, folks, here we are back again. We are about a bucket and a half into uh, running the Goldemian sluice here. And you'll notice just how much bigger these ripples have become uh, with their black sand. And it's still pulling out large amounts. I mean, this thing really does a good job for a long time pulling your black sands out. You'll notice that lower riffle I indicated to you earlier that was still small has gotten much bigger. In fact, there's a nice pile building on the lock magnet and on the lower indicator magnets at the very bottom down here. Those are my black sand indicator magnets and they're starting to get to the point where I'm going to want to change this. Um, you can let some black sand through your lower sluice box down here. You just want to keep most of it out. So there's a, a balance point between speed and uh, efficiency here. So when we get this thing ready to clean Alright, here we are. We've done two buckets of material through the Goldemian, so I'm going to turn it off, show you what it looks like without it, the water running. So here we are. Here's the Goldemian sluice now, completely packed full of black sands. And I'll try to give you an indicator just to how, how deep that is. Uh, that's not going to work on that side. But it's about up to my, my first little knuckle here. So it's a good inch deep at least, all the way up these riffles. So now I'm going to show you how to clean it. So we're going to pop this out, real easy here, it just tilts over, you have a bucket, you set underneath it, okay, and then I'm going to take right here, this big chunk that you see is actually my lock neodymium covered in black sand, so I'm just going to push it down to the bottom, there we go, it's going to sit right down there, we're going to pull the bottom plate with my thumb, I'm just going to press that bottom plate away, 
And now I'm going to turn on the water flow. You're going to watch how this cleans right out. Here we go. Tilt it, Rock. There we go. There it is, already clean. Turn the water flow off. You notice the Goldemian sluice box is nice and clean. You fold the bottom back up, throw your lock magnet back on it. Go ahead and throw the lock magnet on it. Okay, there we go. So the Goldemian is clean, ready to go back on the system for another two buckets of concentrate. Well, I hope you enjoyed our demonstration of the Goldemian. Hi folks, uh, Mr. Tesalonian here. I just got done kind of getting all the material dried out that uh, I showed you there on the film of the Goldemian in action. And what I've done here is I've separated it into two piles. On the left here is the pile that came out of the lower sluice box. I'll zoom in on that for you. And that's all other than the finest of it uh, that came out of the lower sluice box. You have a lot of mercury covered gold, nice little picker there, a couple little smaller chunks. Up here uh, at the top I have the pile that came out of the Goldemian uh, when we were checking it for material. You always keep its concentrates and keep them separate so you can see what is getting caught in there. And then this came out of there. This nugget was stuck in the Goldemian. It has, a iron, oops, has iron stone on it. And I'll, I'll try to see if I can get this to zoom back out a little bit here so I can give you a good shot of it. It's got some water on it, so it's going to be, uh, I just rolled it down into the water, I just dried out of it all. But it's got gold, you can see it there, going all the way around it. It was a great find, and stuck right there on the riffles in the Goldemian sluice box. That may have rolled out of a normal sluice box, just because it's in so much stone. Uh, you may never have seen that, so... Thought I'd share with you uh, what we ended up out of there, we still have some more concentrate to run through from there. And uh, well, I'll show you in the end what we ended up with for the uh, five buckets we ran the other day. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Until next time, and a new product, Mr. Tesalonian here. Talk to you later.